Hello there. <laughs> Welcome, smugglers, oh rebels, spies, alkalites, imperial, and Jedi alike to this wretched hive of scum and villainy. I am your galactic archivist, Nick Ticotti. And speaking of scum and villainy, let's introduce our players. Why don't we start with mm, Jim? Hello. I'm on a different side of the table. Ooh, spicing it up. Uh, my name's Jim, and I love Star Wars. Also. Hello. I'm Chris Saratsky. On Why, that you side on of the this table? side of the table? What? Now at the very will and, and, and mercy of my machinations and torture. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> You'll get used to it. Just, just roll with the punches for now. Okay. <laughs> You'll be okay. Word. We'll walk you through it. Uh, my name is Evan, and uh, I think Star Wars is okay. Uh, but I, uh, I'm oh, sure excited shit. to play in it. <laughs> it's already commenting. Oh god, I ruined the entire reception. Good, I hope they do. He doesn't even play court Kotor. Hi, I'm Grand Van Camp, and uh, I am the droid you're looking for because I'm so happy to be here and to finally play in this galaxy. Hello, I'm Victoria Coro, and I have seen the Star Wars movies, I think, technically. Um, but I'm excited to go pew, 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 pew. The way you said that kind of gave me um, an, an Arrested Development. It's like, go see a Star Wars. Go see War. a Star Wars. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. All right. Now, before we jump to hyperspace, we need to talk about our amazing music sponsor, Midnight, Midnight Syndicate. Syndicate. All right. Woo! Midnight All right, Midnight Syndicate, Syndicate, a fierce, horrifying, and gothic duo that produces engaging cinematic scores for your TTRPG stories. You can find their music on Spotify and MidnightSyndicate.com. Damn, oh. give Chris a run for that. John Williams, <laughs> eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. And if you're on Spotify, you can check many of our amazing little tunes that we've created. Well, Chris is really creative. <laughs> for being it's it's pretty much just Chris. <laughs> hey, we yeah. did the vocals on one. We did do the vocals. Yes, and Andrew and Frank helped with the original theme Exactly. Well. We've yeah. had a lot of amazing Fuck. collaborators. Now, uh, also, if you'd like to fund our little operation here, why don't you check out our merch? We've got shirts, we've got uh, bags, we've got AirPod holders. Yeah, I would totally show you one of those. Yeah, Yeah. at some point. Oh, it's here's this... some stickers. Can we make it look like I'm wow. like I'm, I'm forcing up like a I don't know like an AirPods case like Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Now um before we get started, I do have a little present to give out. <gasps> what? I know. Wait, I actually I I am acting surprised but I'm actually I surprised. Yeah, I uh, You're like I uh, uh, overacting surprise even though you are. <laughs> 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 Oh, whoa, whoa, oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, oh what? Wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, what? Wait a minute. I think I left my consciousness in There you go. Bag. You're lying to me. Oh, oh my god. Look, <laughs> well, you've got my little That's droids. actual my hair. Like, and then can you pass these oh down god. to Jill? Oh my god, lordy, lordy. <laughs> wow. I what? That's so great. Oh I had a friend who I'd love to shout out. My friend Patrick, you can find him at Lego MOC fodder on instagram and they make amazing lego minis they have such a huge collection to be very careful this is actually what my hair looks like i know game. it's kind of crazy he, he did a really good he guys he made these like in a day he that's has like awesome. such a crazy amount of legos it's, it's wild that's so cool damn these are close too. yeah right i know they oh are god nozzle and claw to live in the <laughs> dream oh you even got your droid yeah now as much as i would love to introduce the world i think i have a better way of doing it that Words could not do justice, so. What? And we'll play this up on the screen. No sound. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sedition plagues the galaxy. A century of peace is now in peril as hundreds of star systems flee the struggling New Republic, rushing into the arms of the perfidious Barris Vaunt, leader of the Trisunderant Coalition. Slipping through the cracks of bureaucracy, agents of evil are afoot. 
Republic spies have uncovered a sinister plan surrounding a newly discovered artifact from the unknown regions. Calling on the forces of light, Chancellor Syndulla has ordered a Republic agent to rendezvous with a Jedi Knight over the moon of Dianto. Together, they hope to retrieve the mysterious cargo and stop this nefarious plot before it unfolds. Shoes All right, what did we think of that? Do we like that, everybody? That cool. that okay, yeah. So cool. I love whoever put that All together. All right, well, now we are going to officially enter a galaxy far, far away. We open on the moon of Dianto. This moon orbits a large, lavender-colored gas giant. And because of so, the moon below, its waters reflect a purplish color with um, indigo and turquoise grasslands. But before we get down to the surface, there is action in the sky. What's the TIE Fighter sound? Oh, oh, God. As this intense battle is happening over the skies of this peaceful, peaceful planet, um, we see... Um, a two large trisunderant destroyers bearing down on the Republic cruiser Light Maker as the Corvette Rio Chuchi is trying to evade fire but takes a critical hit um, and both ships are in distress. A broadcast is sent to both ships. It is the captain of the Light Maker. Her name is Dysa Hill and she says she's a Togrutan, she's a Togrutan woman missing one horn with a peachy complexion with markings on her face with um, red um, stripes on her laku and montrails. She says, the ship is lost. Get to the escape pods. I repeat, get to the escape pods. Rendezvous on the surface of Dianto and await rescue. It's been an honor serving with you. May the force be with you. Go, go! He's also with you. As you, a short time passes, you see all of these escape pods shooting down onto the surface. Some don't make it. Oh! As this ship starts to turn and it crashes into one of the Trisunderant ships, making a huge explosion and shockwave that slightly disables the other, and it gives enough time for the remaining escape pods to get down, and for one single ship to get free. This craft is slightly damaged though, taking fire, and is now crashing towards the surface of Dianto. And it, it almost like as a falling star goes into the, a mountain range and looking up. Grant, would you like to introduce your character? <laughs> yeah, so uh, you see a, a tan-skinned, um, very like, like 19-year-old uh, kid. Uh, he, he has very, like, dark red, uh, crimson, uh, hair, kind of like in an undercut. Well, actually pretty close to mine, but it's curlier and it kind of falls more. He's about my height, uh, way better build, I'd say. He works out. And, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he has this, uh, this silver, uh, circlet, yeah, yeah, on his, on his head. It's very thin, and he has these very chunky, um, like, almost, like, it's it's a trooper kind of armor, but it's like it's a bunch of different pieces kind of made into one set, cool. um, with uh, like these like thin lights that go up the gauntlets. Ooh. And <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm uh, oh, and I have green eyes, and I'm just looking. <laughs> and I go, what, what, what should I do? What should I do? I guess go towards it. Okay, and I'll just start running really fast. Oh, remember your speeder bike? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I start, Session I, zero detail. No, yeah, I, start, I start to run and I go, speeder. Speeder, yep. Um, jump for a that. second, uh, can you roll a perception check for me? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's bad. A nine. Your drive, as you're speeding towards this, what looks like just um, cascade of falling stars into the mountains, you see a silhouette of a cloaked figure very quickly, and then it's gone. Um, we are going to uh, cut to Victoria's character. Your character is now getting out of this ship. 
that has crashed. That has crashed. Can you go ahead and um, describe your character for everybody? Yeah. Um, her name is Esme Nova. Ooh. She is uh, like a junior diplomat. <laughs> she's working on Wow. Junior year is tough. It is. <laughs> um, and she's got pink skin. She's a... Marillion? Mary Allen. Mary Allen? Mary Allen. However you Mary want to Allen. pronounce it. It's Mary pink. Allen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's pink. She's got, she's got her hair pulled back and some like little little space buns in the back. She's you know, coming out of this, this wreckage, trying to find her way out. And, oh, and I want to check that ears is okay. Oh, yeah. Pull go. this little baby droid out of my pocket. Ears, you all right? It kind of perks up a little bit, like it's just a little like <laughs> dusted, and it just goes. Weep, weep, bloop, 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 That's bloop. my C four. <laughs> you hear a knock at the cockpit in front of you. Like, oh my gosh, there was another person in here. Yeah, but like there's knocking, so like they can't get out. Um. Okay, I'd like to go see if I can like open the, remove any blockage, or like Ooh. open where they are. Can you make a strength check? Oh, I'm not strong. Come on, adrenaline! Oh, eight. <laughs> <laughs> you go to open it, and you can't quite get it open. You can tell that it probably it probably need to be blasted open at this point. All right. Well, I tried. Stand back! Can you roll an attack for me? <laughs> That's a tw na unnatural 20. Work! All right, so you shoot at this cockpit, it blasts off, and you see the figure <laughs> of, oh god. Burning He's alive. No, lost. No. You see as this like very gorgeous, <gasps> Ooh. oh, come on now, what are you doing? Bring him back. Yuana Suri, a Jedi knight. She I is, want to date her. You, she's holding her hip as she was struck by some shrapnel in the crash. Mm. She's very bruised, oh, and hip. she gets out and she goes, well, that was a uh, rough <coughs> landing, if I do say so myself. Are, are you all right? Uh, I, I think so. I, I apologize I... that this wasn't the smooth transfer of cargo that we insisted. <sighs> Uh, are you all right? Shoot, dude. Oh, uh, I think I'll be fine. Can you can you check the the cargo container? The cargo container in the back. Yes, yes, of course. You have to put her out of her misery. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Just look at the sunset. Um, I'll go check the cargo. Okay, yeah. Um, you um, can you? Yeah, I'll just say you open it. You find a small sort of um, it's about this big, like cylindrical container that's enclosed, and on it it has um, three blue lights that are just beeping. Hmm. I think it's supposed to do that. Did you find it? I think so. Can you bring it here? It's not going to blow up, is it? Oh, no. I don't oh. believe so. I don't know what's inside of it. I'll grab it. <laughs> all right, you bring it to her, and she says, all right, I need you to listen to me closely, all right? All right. Um, in the event that I cannot make it, and I, I should be able to make it, All right. um, please, you know where to take this. Basaurus. Yes. All right. Basaurus. All right. Um, Basaurus. As she's speaking to you, Castor, you arrive on the scene. <laughs> I, I imagine I come over a hill, and I'm like, don't worry, I'm coming, I'm going to save... And I fall over. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gosh, oh, that smarts. Oh, okay. great, a local. Hi there. Uh, can I put the cargo in, like, my backpack or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, I'm friendly. Hey, whoa, whoa, lady, okay. Oh, it's, I'm making sure. Uh, are, are you okay? How, how's it going? Oh, I will be fine. Your speeder, can you take more than one person? Y yeah, uh, I think so, yes. Perfect, because I'm... I might be able to help. Can, um, yeah, can, do you yes. know any medical anything? Uh, I'm going to try this. I don't know if it's going to work. <clears throat> um, Vow of Restoration. When you would uh, make an unarmed strike, you can spend a one focus point to instead touch a willing creature within your reach. The target gains hit points equal to the amount okay. rolled plus your wisdom or charisma. Sure, go for it. Okay, it's a d4 plus three. So she will heal uh, six. Oh, okay. She kind of feels... <sighs> How did you do that? Oh, I don't know. I just did it earlier with a, a, a what are those things called? Oh, uh, varactyls. <laughs> oh, with a varactyl. Oh, time to get to move on then. Here, let me help you, miss. And uh, I'll, I'll kind of 
uh, you know, uh, army carry. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. I want you both to make a perception check for me. That's serving well lately. <laughs> well, not much better. <laughs> <laughs> a ten. Uh, Eleven. Freaking folks. You start to hear these footsteps coming towards you. They almost feel like there's a beat to them. Was someone with you? What? No, I don't think so. Why? You see... Oh my god. <laughs> One second. What would I say? Oh my! Oh my Lanta! Oh blast! (laughs) True. Carabast is one. No. You see these two (laughs) battle droids following a grand woman, and she says, "Well, hello there, Caster. I see you found a little treasure for me." Alsacen, this is not the time. This woman is is injured, and she needs help. Oh, I'm sure we'll get her all the medical treatment she needs, but in the meantime, you are all going to have to come with me. You frigid nerve herder! Watch the language, you chica no... Ooh, oh my god. Forgive me sure. for... You've just been a little irritating these past few months, you and your auntie. You're basically enslaving everyone on this planet. I'm trying to give them a new way of life here in the Outer Rim. So what are you going to do? Are you going to help me get this woman to help, or are you going to just be in the way? I think I need you to let the woman go, and you go back to your little auntie, and I'm going to take you two into custody for crashing on Entente Land. My name is Esni Nova. I'm... I can't remember my title. Help. <laughs> you're... you're a, just say you're a diplomat. At this point, you're... I am a diplomat. I don't know where I'm from, though. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look at my notes. Kamaya Prime, the, the Kamaya capital of the Republic. <laughs> yes. Alderaan. My name is Esni Nova. I'm a diplomat from the... Uh, the Republic. Uh, Just the say Republic. the Galactic Republic. Right. I'm a... <laughs> This is what happens when we take Victoria out of D&D. It just kills. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. I'm from Corinth. This is why I have a blaster, because this is all I can be trusted with. Shoot first, ask later. Yeah. Anyway, my name is Esni Nova. I am a diplomat from the Republic. Oh, God. And we seek aid. Why would you say that? Oh. Okay. Wow. From the Republic, are you? Well, we don't like too kindly to people like you. No, we don't. And the droids pull up both their arms and... T- Let's roll initiative. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Ah, jeez. Right. How are you doing? I'm having a good time. I, I know. I have, 20, I have 20 hit points, <laughs> which is more than they're yeah. going to have. I'm just looking at magic items. <laughs> you okay over there, bud? Yeah. <laughs> I'm rolling really bad so far. All right, y'all. Give me some, give me like some initiative good. rolls. 17. 17 for Esni. I got a five. A five? Woo. Okay. With uh, a natural one. Oh man. Which I have pretty good initiative though, guys. Just not right now. Alright, we got Val Sazen. Oh my and god. And we've got two battle droids. Alright, wow. let's. How many, le- how many Lego boys you got in there? Yeah, maybe a few. Do you guys know about Saison as a reference it's a new to? Version. Oh no. yeah, tell our, tell our viewers what about Saison is a so reference there to. There was a parking lot in our last job that we worked called S- uh, South Basin. And uh, we were just randomly that's driving funny. to the parking lot, and we were like, a, that sounds like a Star Wars character, Spooner Eyes, Balth Sazen. All right, just put him on both sides of her, yeah. One second. All oh, right. <laughs> For the purpose of this fight, um, uh, Yolanda is still down, not doing well, and is in and out of consciousness, but is stable. Uh, we're going to start with Esni. What are you doing? Pew, pew. All right, go for it. Roll for it. Okay. Uh, can oh, I only boy. do one blast? Yeah. I think you can. But okay. remember, you also get your droid, too. Okay. Uh, that's a 14 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Roll for damage. And we're going straight for the, the main lady. Oh, okay. Ooh, I should probably say, she steps back. Sorry. She steps back, and she's trying to let the droids handle Yeah. This is a... Oh, oh no! I won! Woo! Yeah. Yay. So right now, I'll say that only the droids are in initiative. Okay. She is not. Like, she, she, don't, she don't mess with that. Okay, fine. Then I'll, I'll hit a droid. Okay, work. Um, so that is, and I, I assume I don't get sneak attack on this one. I would say nar. No. <laughs> nar. Um, that is, I can do math, four. All right, yeah, you hit it and like a, a freaking arm pops off. Oh. This is kind of an old battle droid, but it is going to then take its other arm and it's going to aim for you as me. Let's see Wait, what it... do I get... Is oh, yes, do your droid, do your droid, do your yeah. droid. Is my droid a bonus action? Yeah, well, I'm gonna treat it like it's, an, uh, what's the word, like it has its own turn, but it's always Sweet. gonna be after you, yeah. Um, I'll represent ears as this guy. Ooh, work. There's ears. Okay, so ears, 
C4 <laughs> is going to. Yeah. They really have 500 movement. They have plenty of movement. Oh, sweet. Then ears is just going from. 500! It's also a recon droid. Oh. Right up there. <laughs> and just. Or, sorry, too close. Right there. Uh huh. And do a little, little dart launcher. Do there. it, do it. Roll for that. So it's just this. The cutest little robot droid just going. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> um, ooh, ears needs to do better. Seven. That does not hit, yeah, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, ears kind of gets up, and it's just a little too scared. This is its first mission away from home, and it just goes. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, ears is going to move back because it can move without provoking opportunity attacks. So I'm just going to hide behind me because ears is. It got scared. All right. So then that droid that you hit is going to try and shoot. Does a uh, 15 hit? Um, um, hit you, Esme? Uh, I'm finding out. It's, uh, the, the, there's armor class 12. Yes. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, I am just a little person. <sighs> Please don't kill me. All right. That's just uh, two damage. Okay. Yeah, but it does. It, it it shoots you and gets you in the leg, maybe a little bit. You're, ah. you, yeah, that, you, you've taken it. You've taken a bullet or two, maybe in your time. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and cut to Caster. Caster, what are you doing? Oh. Okay, I want some action today, anyways. Yeah. And uh, when I do this, uh, the 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 lights on my gauntlets uh, uh, glow this orange, and uh, these energy shields just appear in front yeah. of it, uh, just kind of like floating in midair right there. And they're kind of they kind of come to a point this way on both of my gauntlets. And I'm gonna run for it. I'm gonna 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then I will bonus action dash, which does not take a focus point in this game. Fuck that. Um, <laughs> Uh, 5, 10, 15, and uh, 20. Uh, I'm going to go over there, and uh, I'm going to punch that droid. Do it! Beat punch the it. hell out of it, man! Punch it! Oh, punch it. oh, that's bad. That's only 11 to hit. No, it does not hit, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, is that your turn? Yep, that's all oh. I can do. All right, all right. So second battle droid is going to now turn to you and try to fire. Oh, uh, does a 16 hit? Uh, on me? Yeah. Uh, is there like a rule against, um, if you're right up against something? Oh yeah, it's a disadvantage, isn't it? I don't know if that's a rule in this game. Yeah, I, I, it's d d rule, so. It makes sense to me. All right, well, does a 12 hit? No. Oh, works. So nice. it misses. Yeah, yeah, this one missing its arm and just kind of a little over-processing, <laughs> just, kind of, just kind of fires right above your head. All right, it's back to Esni, your turn. Okay, is there any, like, rock? Or ship parts that I can. You can get, get behind the ship for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You let's, want to get some let's cover. try and get some cover. So I'm just gonna kind of hide a little bit. Work. Um, and then pew pew. Pew pew. Shoot. I guess it's only one pew. Get him. But that's a sixteen to hit. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, you hit. Roll for damage. Do you want to hit the one that I'm next to so you can yeah. get sneak attack? Yes, I do. Nice. Thank you. Especially <laughs> because I rolled really bad on the damage. <laughs> okay, so that's five damage and then plus sneak attack. Ooh, another six. How do you want to do this? Hell Yo! Yeah. So she's like crouching yeah. behind some, some shit parts uh -huh. and just like pops up and goes pew! And yeah. It, and it dies. Yeah, you shoot its freaking head off and it like, and it like, it goes flying and you around and around and Yes. All right, all right, and then uh, next up is well, that was it. That was the that was the one whose turn it was next. So, Caster, it's up to you now. Oh man, okay. <laughs> Five, ten. Caster, master. Uh, I'll run up here and I'll energy punch. Let's actually please work. Uh, why no? <laughs> 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 oh, uh, that was only a ten. Uh, that does not hit. Yeah, I will bonus action uh, attack then. Do it, do it, do it. Why? Oh my god. Uh, it's only a seven. No. I, I'm sorry, totally babes. Miss. Yay. Yeah. So you miss, and then so seeing this one's still kind of fully up and about, kind of then turns to you, and it's going to kind of strike you with one of its uh, bigger okay. arms. Ooh. Oh, uh, that's just, is that 11 doesn't hit? But it misses. You seem to have this reflex, and you just kind of duck and dodge out of its way. All right. But that is its turn, so it's up to you, Ezzy, now. And you can also, don't forget, you can make a little 
Little droid go. Yes. Two. Yes. We're gonna send ears out again. Come on, ears, redeem yourself. Come Ooh. on, ears, you got this. <sighs> go right there. And <laughs> ears is the worst. I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. I love him. What did you roll? A natural one. Oh, yeah. Damn, so, it explodes. <laughs> ears is really, really scared right now. Poor ears. Ears, ears is trying their best. <laughs> it just like it's like it goes behind Mama to do something and runs yeah, back. Yeah, I love it, that. that's yeah. It's gonna go hide again. All right, um, but it. I can still do a, do yes. a pew. Do a pew. Pew. Mm. And I'll say it's a sneak attack because casters up on it and you're taking cover. Yeah, sneak attack. Okay, so that's an 18 to hit. That hits. Nice. So that is a 10 damage. How do you wanna do this? Hell yeah. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So Ears, you know, does his best. And then comes back and hides behind Mom. And then I'm just like, oh, all right, I'll do it myself. Kind of line it up all perfect uh -huh. and look for, like, the, the weak spot. Yeah. And yeah. just pew, and the whole thing just pew. Wow. Like, like in Lego Star Wars. With it. <laughs> <laughs> like Star Wars with the it. droid kind of, like, just in its last bit of, like, like bit of voice was like, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got my eye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be out of initiative now. And Bout stays and seeing this. She goes, Caster, I'll get you for this! <laughs> and runs away. <laughs> get out of here. All Swear. right. Oh, well, um, thank you for taking care of that. I appreciate it. You're both very skilled. Yeah, you're really good for a diplomat. Thank you. I'm a technically a junior diplomat. What? I don't know what that means. What what planet are we on? What planet are we? Uh, this is Dianto. We're in uh, the uh, Entente uh, region of the galaxy right now. Dianto. Mm -hmm. That means that she's here. She gets this really quiet. This lady's weird. I only just met her. <laughs> the air gets really still, and you all feel like chills down your spine. Is that normal? Uh, it's, this is not a cold part of the year, so... Caster, <laughs> you hear, like, kind of, like, almost like somebody was, like, right behind your ear and then quickly ran away. <laughs> almost like somebody was breathing down your neck. Esni, you as well. She says, You two need to go. Um, what? <laughs> what? We just saved me. you. I will be fine, but you need to get this... this cargo to Pesuris. I will be right behind you. Are you sure? Uh, It'll be fine. Who are you? Uh, I'm Caster Woodburn. Woodburn. Yeah. Is is your master here? I don't have a master. <laughs> Wait, Dianto, you said. Dianto? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know Velnaris Zendira? Yeah, yeah, I know Val. Yeah, Auntie Val, you know. Okay, well then, you have a mission for me. Take this cargo to Val. Please. Okay. She will get you to Besseris. I really don't feel good about just leaving you here. I will be fine. There's a locator beacon on this fighter. The Jedi will get me, but I think... I feel something coming, and you need... To, I need to cover your retreat. It's usually best to listen to them when they feel things. Uh, okay. Um, just be careful. I will be more than careful. You should work on your ship piloting skills, by the way. I don't think that's not really a good park job. All right. May the force be with you. And also with you. What's the force? <laughs> Kicking. <-king. laughs> As you're driving away. I'm sorry. It's my favorite joke. You see her just kind of like. Get down on her like on her knees as if she's going to pray, in a way, and it's just standing, sitting very still, as you drive off. Caster, can you do? Can you make another perception check for me? <laughs> you got okay, this, Caster. I, I can keep doing it, but I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> Eleven. As you're driving off towards Val, you occasionally get these glimpses, like you're seeing something, and you realize you're back at that crash again. But it's bits and pieces. You see silhouettes moving around each other with bright flashes of gold and purple. And then it's gone. That's weird. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, I shouldn't be daydreaming. Yeah, I'm driving. I'm <laughs> driving! <laughs> I'm on the road! I'm sorry, I just started today. What? what? <laughs> I'm so- I did, I'm sorry. Should I be driving? <clears throat> no. No, I got this. I don't want some, uh, I don't want some Repu- uh, Galactic Republic dog driving my speeder. Yeah, what's your issue with the Republic? You know, I just want to control everything. That's not true. Okay. So, do people around here not support the Republic? No, you are in the Entente. Well, I don't know. I we wasn't don't have driving go- the ship. We don't have a government. We just kind of live... Here. don't have a government. No, but we have lords who uh, like to say that they own all the land here on Deonto and make it impossible to live here. And we have to pay them credits for literally no reason, even though we just have a, a huge supply of this uh, medical plant. Sounds like maybe you should join the Republic. Might be able to help with some of that. Like they would actually give us the money to live freely. You would just use us as a place to mine. Do I need to keep it on the down low or not? I recommend you should. All right. <laughs> As you're speeding along, you finally make it up into the mountain ranges where, um, or past the mountain ranges, through the grasslands to your home. And waiting for you there is your auntie. My auntie. Auntie Anne. Oh, She come makes on. great pretzels. Good pretzels. Mm. Oh, wow. An older Daphomiri woman, she looks at you and she says, I see you brought over company for us. Hey, auntie. <laughs> There's this weird woman who was like bleeding back in the mountain range and she wanted us to give you this cylindrical object. Oh, you haven't seen the object, I don't think. It's in my backpack. Oh, she wanted to give you this backpack. <laughs> All right, well, um, why don't you come inside? I have, some, I, have some, I have some tea waiting for you. All right. Thank you. I went from, uh, I went from, uh, what, I don't know, fucking Russian to old British lady really fast. <laughs> I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna stick with British lady. She um, like she isn't, she's like an actor. <laughs> um, well, actually, sorry, a bit of a misunderstanding there. Uh, backpack is staying with me, but I need to take it to a Basaris. Basaris? Well, Basaris. What's in Basaris? My drop-off. Well... I don't know if that's something I can do. I don't know why she asked you to come see me. I don't know either. Oh, yeah, she knows you. Your name was, uh, what was her name? Yuana? Yuana. Yuana who? If you want to be my lover, <laughs> you know, I get friends. Let's get some. <laughs> she kind of just, like, the cane that she usually relies on comes a little more looser to hand. She stands up a little straighter and she just goes, Well, if we're going to be going, might as well get a good meal out of you. Come on in, come on in. Okay. Are you leaving with us? Well, you've always wanted to travel, didn't you, Caster? This yeah. This is like making things. Yeah, but I, I mean, I don't want you to go. You're like old. Caster. Caster. Unfortunately, like your mother, you do not have an amazing way with words. You know, your mother was very, um, very special to me. And I think there's something she would want you to have. As she... Sits you down at this table. A parent? She didn't do that. Your mother tried her best. Just awkwardly sitting over here with my cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, in fact, you, um, you go ahead and uh, roll a d4. You die. <laughs> roll a d4. Just roll a d4. Oh my goodness. They just told you they don't like the Republic out here. I didn't say I liked the Republic. It's a four. Yes, you did. It's a four. You get four health points back. Oh, it was nice. a good one. Okay, thank you. Caster, I... Just have this feeling that we need to get this out of the way now. Okay. As she shows you this box, she sets it in front of you and she said, there are things your mother wanted to give you that she did not get the opportunity to do. Okay. You want to open it now? I'm... We have time. I will make the time to talk to you. You open it up, and inside of it is this. Whoa. You're a Jedi. It's like a tube. No, be careful with that. <laughs> 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 it's just so beautiful in the moment. Sorry. <laughs> this is Taylor. This is Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all got each other sick. I love it. Castor, do you know what this is? No, I don't. I don't. Be very careful with that. She says, see this end on that side? Point it away from you. Just gonna back up. 
Press the button. <laughs> ah! God! As, <laughs> as you see this bright, fiery orange saber in front of you. Be very careful. I set it on a lower, lower setting. You won't hurt anybody. Oh, oh wow. Uh, oh, be careful. Uh, <laughs> it's really light, though. <laughs> it's quite uh, amazing how balanced it is. It's like a saber made of light. It's awesome. <laughs> it's a light saber. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's wow. her mother. Was she a Jedi? She was. You know how, how you your know mother... That? You know how your mother said she was on a business trip when she left? Jeez. Uh, I mean, loosely. I was really young. Your mother and I were Wayseeker Jedi. Oh. We didn't operate on the same rules as other Jedi. We were allowed to explore the galaxy, search out evil and darkness. And for many years, we were very happy helping people. And I trained her in every way I could, and, and you came along. And she couldn't do it anymore. She settled down on this world, and then about ten years ago, she said she felt something. A darkness. Reaching from the unknown regions, and said she had to leave, or else it would come for you too, and I'm afraid it's coming. I'm not a Jedi. Not There's, yet. This, this is a lot to take in, Auntie. Oh, I know, I know, it's a lot, it's a lot. That's why you have the tea. Please calm yourself. Um... They're taking it well. And do you remember when your father left to you go? You know how him? long it took me to <laughs> learn how to use these things. I know, <laughs> I know, but the training I gave you could be used for that as well. Oh, wow. Then I'd like you to add a great saber to your inventory. Whoa. Wow. Nice. Now we have a long trip to Basura, so um uh, Esme, would you do me a favor? I'm sure you know how to pilot a ship. Yeah. There is a shuttle in the backyard. Shuttle. <laughs> in the bin. In, yeah. the, uh, in the barn. Will you go get it warmed up for me? I can do that. Cast her. Will do. Would you help her? Mm. Yeah. Oh. What? Didn't realize you were coming. Never mind. Here we go. Cast her. That's <laughs> 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 where you're pointing. I can point better. With a gun? <laughs> this is why we don't like the Republic. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you two get going. And she just she's she's not in any kind of rush. She's gonna start like cleaning up her the tea and like stuff and the, the plates. Put it in like her own version of Tupperware into the fridge and whatnot. Like she's not in any rush, but okay. she says, You two need to get going. Okay, just be careful. I I, I know like I, I don't want you to hurt yourself, Auntie. She's Go on. really old. It's a lot. <sighs> You know, Gath and Miri live longer than you do. Okay. <laughs> what are you at? Like, double my lives now? Maybe. <laughs> Alright, show, such a, show such a me life. where this ship is. Yeah, um... You know where the shuttle is. You know, she's taking you out on rides a few times here and there. Oh, like, it's the shuttle. Okay. It's the shuttle, yeah. yeah. Um, you guys, like, get it warmed up. and it's You ready are not to get... driving this time. Okay, well, I do the maintenance on it, so... <sighs> You see, you see um, Val, Val just kind of come out, and she's just standing in the grass, and she's looking off back into the mountains, just dead staring. She has these moments; it happens. She all right? Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. She she thinks a lot, you know. She really knows a lot of stuff. That's really weird. I don't know. She she doesn't really come off as a Jedi. I think of Jedi as like these like insane. Ah, like warriors, you know? No. Jumping around, doing flips, like, you know, that one little green guy. I mean, like... <laughs> yeah, Yaddle. I Yaddle's mean, great. sure, they can be that, but they are people. I didn't think about it like that. They can be real idiots. And mothers. You kind of have this little moment while your guys are getting the shuttle ready, and you kind of get the... You hear, Faster! Out the window. <laughs> can you come down here for a minute? I flip out. Why you get so mad? Come down here! Oh my god. Okay. Oh, you flipped out. Sorry, I thought you meant like you just got out and put your head out the window. You just put your head out the window and we're like, hello! Thank you. Betty! Hi! Fuck your chicken strips. She 
puts her arm on her on your shoulder and she says, I know you have a lot of pain in your heart for your mom. And she kind of hugs you for a second. Hopefully, I was enough for you. Like, well, exactly. I mean, if... It, I, I'm not really that broken up about it. If, if she wouldn't have left, I wouldn't have gotten to know you so well. You have an amazing way of thinking about things. Can you feel that? Just do the thing I've seen her do. <laughs> that's, that's not quite how it works. Um, give me one second. I'm going to go back into the house. Will you wait here for me? She ro- She just very carefully walks back in. She's totally going to die. Oh. She's not. Shut up. <laughs> Pastor. Sorry, that wasn't my character. No, you're good. Can you... Um, I'm so afraid. It's okay. Can you do a wisdom <laughs> check for me? Or no, intelligence check for me. You want to borrow another die? Honestly, wisdom's better. <laughs> oh, let's do wisdom. Uh, let's do wisdom. <laughs> no, I don't trust Do it. Fine. No, no. Chris's dice are cursed. Cursed! Cursed die, cursed die. 16. Fuck you. <laughs> Your dice have been nothing but mean to me. It's almost like they're random. Also, to the side of people, I promise we'll go to break soon, and then it's all your time, and they'll listen, have to wait listen, for you. Listen, yeah. I'm enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, I'm really having yeah. fun just, like, taking in the war. I am a teenager. <laughs> you start to feel that chill again on the back of your... Th- as you hear a humming. <laughs> Whoa. And it doesn't sound like one voice, it sounds like two. Right. Hello? You look over the fields and you don't see anything. You kind of pan one way. And then you pan again. And there's two figures. <laughs> purplish. Oh! Oh, oh God! Oh, oh that's so scary. <coughs> oh, that's fucked up, dude. Those are scary. And speaking in unison, as well as occasionally switching off. No. Alex. You hear? Hello there, little caster. What do you have there? <laughs> Don't taunt him, sister. We need him. But it would be so much fun to play. <laughs> Quiet, sister. Give us the lightsaber and come with us. Val, Val, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> Can you That's make funny. an int- uh, let's say a intelligence save for me? Oh, oh, That's oh great. no! You got this. <laughs> I love it for all this. I'm just in the ship with you. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, man, I will really say, roll a perception check for me real quick. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, oh, 17. There we go. You start to feel this pull as you take a step closer. And then you immediately are jumped out of it. Um, did you, what you roll I got for? a 15. You're witnessing all of this from okay. inside the cockpit. But I'll be honest, I think... Roll, <laughs> roll a charisma check for me. Charisma check? I'm just in the ship, just hanging out. Dead. Go. Cool. You're very frightened of this. I'm thinking frightened to, of this. <laughs> I know, but you're, you're thinking to yourself, I don't know if this is my fight at the moment. I'm going to keep the ship going. Uh, engine's going. Hey, Caster, as you jump out of it, you look behind you and... Val is right behind you with her cane. Just cast her. It's time to go. Hmm. Get the ship ready. Okay. Take off. <coughs> I'll get on. Okay. <laughs> oh, and when you get on, press the... It's a turquoise button with a, with a target on it. Can you press that for me? Sure. Get to it. Uh, <coughs> bye, scary ladies. Uh, and I will um, dash. I will. Yeah. I, I will bonus action dash and uh, action dash to get on the ship. 
You rush to the ship. You get in, and what do you... Strap in! All what? of a sudden, the doors on the ship close. It starts to lift off. No. Wait. No, 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 no. What? Taking as it starts to, like, lift into the sky. You look down at Val. She's now standing straight up and just holding the cane. It starts to kind of unfurl its branches. And she pulls, and as it kind of reforms... It's a sword cane? Whoa, that's reforms, that's sick. That's sick. and she ignites her emerald. Yes, that's so fucking cool! Oh, fuck. No, that's, no. no. For a second, a you feel a connection to her. I know. As she says, Find the golden path, Caster. It will lead you to your home. And she begins dueling with these two witches of sorts. Wow. You see flurries of blows. She's doing these flips you never thought she could do. She's like the green guy! <laughs> <laughs> She's fighting at these as these as these blows of indigo purple and emerald green clash and she even like like forces one away like fifty feet Whoa. and like puts her on her ass awesome. and it like it causes such a stir in the grass that it starts to create a cloud around it that you can't see anymore. I have to go help her. We have to go back. Strap in. We are leaving. She made her choice. No, the ship I, I... is leaving into the sky. I want you both to do one more perception check for me. Eighteen. Oh, uh, twenty-one. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. Well, that's already done enough. Sorry. Yeah. <coughs> um. Kester, you're in this state of emotion that you just can't shake, and you, having a little bit more clarity, having been in battle before, look up and see the Trisunder Destroyer above you, charging cannons. Kester, a moment of stillness, as you have one last connection with Val. You can't see exactly her surroundings, but it's almost as if you are there with her and she is there with you. This is my last gift to you. And from where your home was, you see this giant beam of light reaching into the sky. <laughs> it passes by the destroyer, scrambling its sensors. It can't quite get any bearings on you as your ship jumps into hyperspace. Yeah, Val! And that's where we're going to take a break. Woo! Oh, wow. uh, I hope this ship sick. has a God game. damn. That was cool. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Oh my that was All scary. Right. La, 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 hey, over here, kid. Hmm? Huh? What's going on? Uh, oh, uh, play with me. What the heck is... I said play with me. Has this ever happened to you? Are you or someone you love afraid of dice? Does the thought of making a skill check send shivers down your spine? We can help. Hi, I'm Jim Conklin, logistics expert and founding member of Yes Yay Roleplay. Almost 100 billion people are affected by an acute fear of dice every year. With our help, you can break the cycle. We at Yerp provide a controlled and easygoing exposure to dice and dice rolling so that you can become the D&D player you were always meant to be. But we can't do it alone. Any donations at all are welcome and most appreciated, as we work to provide our audience with the greatest RPG content possible. Just go to our Ko-fi page and make whatever donation you see fit, so that we can save people like you from a life of missed opportunity attacks. Don't live in fear. Don't say no to dice. Say yes, yay. Yes, yay roleplay. D D at its worst from the best. Note, this ad is a parody. We are not licensed healthcare professionals. This is not real medical advice. Playing DD will not cure your medical conditions, be they physical or mental. As much as we want it to, greater restoration does not exist. If you suffer from any phobias or medical conditions, please contact medical professionals in your area for treatment. And we're back! Yeah, we are! Alright, what a Fun and emotional first time. It's only the first time. Heroic part of this. sacrificed my aunt. I know, I know. <laughs> Come on, as soon as we met her, her and the person I was traveling with, they're both dead. Yeah. If they have a cane, they're gonna die. They're let's gonna just, die. Let's let's just, yeah. If they have a cane, they're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to 
take a hyperspace lane to a new planet. Oh shit. The planet of Basurus. Basurus is a mining world. It was a test bed for first order super weapons back mm. in the days of the resistance. Um, in fact, it was a test target for Starkiller Base. Um, but when Starkiller Star Killer Base fired, it missed slightly and took off a good chunk of the northern hemisphere. Oh, wow. The planet is inhabitable for the most part, but a bunch of raw minerals and ores were then brought into the atmosphere and around the planet and were unearthed for the taking. And so the Entente, needing a few resources here and there and something to um, fund their little operation, created um, Aruka Station. Aruka <coughs> Station is a ring-like structure that creates an energy field that keeps all of those minerals inside. Um, this station is um, owned by the Entente and a few other corporations and um, creates Dunium which is a metal used for shipbuilding. Whoa. D-O-O-M? Do, Doomium? Or mm -hmm. do oh, if I did spell it right. <laughs> Aluminium. On this station Aluminium. are many different communities as this, like, quite literally planet-sized station exists. You see people of all different walks of life coming here trying to make a good buck and then stay because... They have to pay for the housing. They have to pay for the food, which is all provided and overcharged by the Entente. Um, getting their money's worth out of these people. Um, we're going to open up in the living quarters to a small home pod. It's about the size of this table with just a bed, a little dresser, and some various other things put up around to make this coffin feel just a little bit more homey. You can tell that it was once painted like a shiny, <coughs> like um, like a shiny, like tan beige color to look nice and new. And then over about like about 50 years, it's just grimy and nobody's ever come to update it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very dirty now. But it does contain a very important sanitation worker. Why don't you go and introduce oh. your character, Evan? Yes. Yeah, so, as you uh, wake up for the day. Oh God, the crinks in the neck get worse and worse every day. So you see this uh, this little, uh, like a yellow spotted salamander, essentially a, uh, a Trandoshan. Uh, you know the big claws, the 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 big clawed feet, all all that nonsense. Um, he he sits up, he grabs his glasses from the side his his little side table, slips them on over the back of his head, and uh, <laughs> stretches out. You probably also see a couple things like. I imagine like self-help books, yeah. self-help books like uh, how to manage your anger, mm -hmm. you know, how to, uh, Trando can do, you know, exactly. uh, oh. a, a guide <laughs> to, uh, to uh, you know, communication across <laughs> the galaxy, things like that. Maybe a couple of dings in the wall where maybe mm. the anger management didn't quite help as yeah. much as it should have. Um, <laughs> and this is Klaatu Besh. The, uh... The Kyle bitch. The Klaatu, the Kyle of Star Wars. He really, really is. <laughs> I see, okay. Yeah, he's trying his hardest. Can you roll a, uh, a D8 for me? I absolutely can roll a D8 for you. Wait, okay. so Klaatu Besh, Klaatu first name Besh. K-L-A-T-U, yeah, hyphen, B-E-S-S-H. S-S-H. But it's like, like, like that's your... Besh. Yeah, that's my full name. That's, that's first, that's the name. Klaatu Besh. First name... Or just... You can call me Klaatu, you can call me Besh, my name's Klaatu Besh. Right. Yeah. Work. You're not D8? helping his anger yes. management. <laughs> this is eight. Okay, so you know that it's near the end of the week. Mm -hmm. And there's usually fun ways that the, the, the owners of this station try to make you all happy. And you yeah. wake up to a little hologram. It's Gooba the Gungan. And he says, Misa so happy to be seeing you so today. We so better be moving on to work. Another happy day on Aruka Station. You so feeling okay day? This worked great for episode one. I know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling great. Oh, then you so better be getting to work. Uh. Yep. <laughs> yes, I absolutely should. Thank you. I understand the anger management. <laughs> your, uh, <laughs> your living pod opens up and a bunch of other people are getting into work some are just getting to bed um, all in similar uniforms some brighter, some darker you know that these mean that they're all from different parts of the station of course uh, hey Kyle alright 
<laughs> Calm down, all right? I'll talk to you later when you're feeling a little bit more ready to conversate, okay? He just starts like kind of like swearing under his breath. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I want to make, I mean, I know exactly where I need to go. If I'm not there within the next 10 minutes, Jigo's gonna have my head, so. You notice that there's a little note stuck on your door, though. <sighs> okay, uh, hold on. Well, that's, that's, that's new. Uh, pick it up. We'll try not to rip it. Uh, <laughs> Can you actually make a sound? Oh god, what, what check this, should this be? I don't know. Uh, 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 strength? <laughs> What, what is it? What? Dexterity? I'm trying not to rip this letter that I just got with my oh, claws. No. Dexterity. Yeah, yeah, give me a dexterity check. Alright. Strength. That's a nat one. Is yeah, that that is? dude! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you go to open this, and your claws just kind of rip right into <sighs> it. But you do see, at the bottom, just a little name, and it's Talon. Oh. Stupid, 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 stupid. Ah, uh, I want to stop at the uh, at the. I want to stop at her bar on the on the way into work. Maybe maybe she's do. there. Maybe yeah. maybe uh, I can fix this. So you have like Ninja Turtle hands. Yeah, that's cool. It's hard to do things sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she, yeah. So you go over to uh, Yumba's then. Yeah, Yumba's Cantina. Thank you for reminding me of the name. Yes. No, okay. <laughs> You're making your way to uh, to the cantina. There's like you know obviously shifts of people coming in and out. You see ads for like. Um, get the best smile of your life, and it's like it's like these like droids that like clean your teeth a certain <laughs> yeah. way. Um, all stuff that you can't afford. Yeah, of course. I get paid like ten Your credits spot. a day. Exactly. <laughs> and all the stores are like they'll have like different amazing names, but underneath it'll say Aruka Station owned. You Aruka make your way Station. to uh, Yuma's Cafe, and what do you do? Uh, I want to look around and see if Talon's there. Roll an investigation. All right. Mm -mm. <laughs> Seven. She's off. God. You do see, um, though, the bartender. One second. Who is a Oswellan race to home? It's my own creation. Mm -hmm. They're yes. a. Um, they're kind of a different. They're a hydrozoan organism. So they're actually made up of like about like a million other organisms all just into one. You see like anything from tentacles to a few eyes. It just kind of says. Like, it has a translator. It's like a shocketh. So it's kind of making these different noises of like... Boop, 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 but like, coming out as just like a monotone voice. Hello there, Klaatu. Anything for the morning? Hey, uh, you, um, did you see uh, Talon come through here this morning? Uh, she left me a note. I just, um, I, I kinda, uh... She is off this morning, but we'll be back later. She did mention that she wanted you to stop by maybe after work. Yeah... Yeah, I know. I was. Jigo uh, had to go do something with his wife. I, I, I had to cover. I, I'm the only guy he's got. I will relay the message. Thanks. Can you just can you just make sure that uh, that she knows that I'm really sorry? Cause um, I, I'm really I'm really sorry. A uh, kind of slimy tentacle, kind of reaches out, touches you on the shoulder. Can do. Have just a good shift. Yeah, I will. Just make make sure she knows that I'm sorry, please. <laughs> okay. And it kind of just like slowly hovers away. See ya. <laughs> you do get a little beeper on beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, on your Shh. emblem. Okay. And then she goes like, hey, where are you? We started work about like about five minutes ago. Yeah, I know. Sorry, Klaatu. Uh, that's me. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, Chico. Um, I'm on my way. I'm I'm literally just passing by uh, Yamba's right just, now. Just, well, uh, if you're there, can you pick me up a, a breakfast sandwich? Yeah, yeah. Do you want uh, Do you want onions on it or do you want no onions uh, on no, it? No, get the, get the Melu run. You know I like the Melu run. Sure, and the cheese, is that, are we talking like... Oh, um, yeah. Uh, get me some of that. Uh, that blue cheese, the, the blue milk cheese. Okay, cool, 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 mm. cool, cool, cool. Definitely can do, can do. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you, you run over and <laughs> you finally get alien. there and you see things are pretty much normal, but uh, she goes, hey, look, uh, look, I, uh, since you're my favorite worker, I'm not going to bug you too much about being late, but it is coming out of your paycheck double. Can I see that breakfast sandwich? Yep. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Now, I know you have a long shift ahead of you, mm -hmm. and I hate to give you the most dirtiest assignment of the morning, but I need you to report to, uh, to, uh, to Airlock J in the hangar bay. Okay. I'm Airlock J. Wait, I... J21 specifically. 
Didn't I, like, just clear that out for you, like, Well, you like cleared the, the sewer systems, and specifically the lavatory at J21, right outside the hangar bays. Some, uh, DeWooten came by and broke the toilet. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> That's gonna be rough. I don't see an alien that looks like me with a newspaper, like... <laughs> can you get, I mean, we, V, that's V's sector. You can have V go over there and deal Oh, with it, I right? know, but uh, V called out today. You know, V's always <laughs> calling out, why don't you fire V and put someone with maybe a little bit more responsibility. You know fire how v. it is. I can't find good help like you, and I kind of have to make do with what I have. So why don't you go ahead and do that for me? Sure thing, Jigo, definitely. I will do it. I'm still at the top of your list. For these, the oh, of course of you are right, right there at the top, and then like they quickly flip their keep like their um their uh yeah, their iPad, their, yeah, their little like um, data <laughs> pad really quick, and then turn it around. Uh, yeah, you were there right at the top. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll go make sure that that laboratory is clean and that you can just sit on it. And don't worry, you'll get to manage your suit. You'll be having my job <laughs> once I retire. What's for? All right, well, I'll see you later this afternoon, and thank you for the breakfast sandwich. Yeah, anything for you, Chico. You oh, and this <laughs> time, don't get oh, the Meluran the fruit. I hate the Meluran fruit. But you always have me put the Meluran fruit on it. That's... I don't think I've ever done that. Okay. And he just, he's, he can't, if he stays in the room too much longer, something bad's going to happen to his blow. livelihood, so he's just going <laughs> to go and do what he has to do. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you head off to uh, Jigo, dude. I hate and this then guy. you start to walk, and all of a sudden, can you make another dexterity check for me? Yeah, sure. You just passed a real life dexterity check. There. I think I did. Um, however, I just rolled a natural twenty on my dex check. So hey, right. first that twenty. Here we go. In this like sudden moment of like, like of just like a like lightness. Barely miss this giant crate in front of you, and you jump over it. Ah! Like you just feel spry, <laughs> and looking at you is Nozzle. Nozzle, I told you not to wait right outside of the doors. Don't give me that tone, okay? I've had a lot to deal with this morning already. <laughs> I am up to here. Boy. Uh, I deserve that. Actually. Up to the boom mic. And it just starts waddling towards <laughs> All right. Jay. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know where we're going then? You know the... Okay. I love this guy. Is Listen. he like a waddling trash can? He, yeah, basically. Dark droid. A lot of secrets in you, there. You he start... has a lightsaber in him. <laughs> <laughs> we're all Jedi. It turns out, um, Nozzle is a Jedi. <laughs> I knew oh. it! <laughs> Pulls out four arms. <laughs> um, Nozzle's anti when he was... <laughs> <laughs> you take the train across, and you know Sector J, like of the station, is not the best part of the station. It's no. a little more rundown. They have not. It was like the fir one of the first parts of the station built, and it took a lot of beatings in those early days from debris and meteors and things. So the train's a little bit rougher um, and whatnot. And you make it to uh, as you're sitting on the train, you get like a a boop 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 boop, boop and you see it's your mother calling. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, okay. And you see, like, this little head of your mother, and she's like, Oh, uh, you're still working there, are you? Hi, Mom. <laughs> Great uh, to see you. Uh, yes, I am still on Aruka Station, Mom. I've been here for ten years, and I've told you this every time you've called. <laughs> I see you still haven't gotten your glasses fixed. What are we gonna do about that? I'm going to fix them when I have You know, your sister doesn't take this long to get things fixed. Yeah, 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 I know. I know what my sister does. Yes, yeah, she's so smart. She's so great. Thank you for reminding me, Mother, that I am just a lowly sanitation Are you sure she's you so... don't want to take her up on her offer to go work on Salukamai? <coughs> I think that I'm about to make a breakthrough here, actually, Mom. Uh, oh. I've been, I've been eyeing up Head of Sanitation, actually, and... Oh, Head of <laughs> yeah. Sanitation! That's everything I envisioned for you. Did you have something you wanted to talk about, Mom? Uh, did you have a reason for calling me, or are you just trying to interrupt my work? <laughs> oh, no, I was just bored and wanted to see what you were doing. Yeah, well, here. You know, just, like, 
aim her out a window oh, of, that's of the horrible. station. Oh, that's That's disgusting. Yeah, well, that's why I'm here, right? Somebody's gotta clean it up. You know, you really shouldn't get so mad. It makes your spots go a little, get look a little wonky. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Mom. And you know what? I'm going to focus on my spots, like you always say. And then, when I get my promotion, I'll invite you to my new room that houses multiple people, not just me, and you will see <laughs> how great it is here. There's no need to raise your voice. Oh, like this is why you can't be <laughs> Hang up. <laughs> just, just hang up. Okay, Mom, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Wow, that was amazing. Acting award to Evan, everybody. Thank oh, my you. lord. Thank you. Thank you. It sleeps multiple people, not just me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Yeah. All right, you make your way to Sector J, and you get to the bathroom. Um, can you ooh, can you make a constitution saving throw for me? Oh, sure. Is it stank? I'll use one of the die that's notorious for rolling poorly for me, too. Wow. wow. Yeah. Oh, it's right on the money. What is this? Reputation of hell. Constitution. Oh, well, that's my good one. Um, saving throw? Mm-hmm. Eleven. Okay. Um, you smell this putrid, rancid bathroom and what's been done to it. There's already a smell in this area, and, um... Ooh. Ooh, this is bad. My eyes are watering. You take one point of damage. That's fucking funny. As you get a little nauseous from the smell but you this know bathroom. What? Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Um, Nozzle kind of brings out like a breathing mask. Thank you, Nozzle. Ooh. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Uh, All right, we're going to cut to... Yeah, please, please. Yeah. I don't want to role play. We don't want to do too much of the humor. All the details. No. Yes. In it. There's know. shit <laughs> everywhere. We're going to cut to a very interesting spaceship landing in the hangar that you're working in. You see this ship right here. Whoa, whoa. Ooh. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Wow. Landing right in your way, and you see everything kind of blowing about, like some junk kind of blows into you a little bit, and you're just like, like a... oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This is over. not a designated parking area. All right, and from the boarding ramp from this ship, I would like first for Chris, can you introduce your character? Sure. Uh, uh, yes, so you see this tall, ethereal figure walk out. Uh, they have luminescent skin, as if their freckles were starlight, uh, golden hair, and a thin gold circlet around their neck, and they're draped in these void depth black robes as if you looked at it's like Vanta Black. <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, cool, cool, yes, cool. so if you look in these robes you might get lost a little. And they have their hood up and uh, they just meekly walk down. Smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you start to walk just a little bit and behind you you feel the kind of tap of a blaster rifle. Oh Jim, my. can you introduce your character? Oh my god. Yes. Um, <laughs> so you see a, um, you see a Mon Calamari. Uh, Calamari? Sort of. That's, sort of, that's their name. <laughs> medium that. height with these purple, like baggy, dark purple um, clothes. It's like a jumpsuit, really. It's mm -hmm. like a flight suit that has these like smattering of this dark, dark, like iodized iron, like plating like kind of scattered across the chest and like one shoulder and uh he's wearing a uh like over one eye it's this like rectangular scout visor <laughs> that's nope. purple <laughs> and um and he's got a like dimly glowing yellow circlet like uh with a handle that's mm. kind of buzzing like like that's hanging from his waist mm. okay and uh, he's got the blaster rifle in in one hand. It's it's made to be held with two, but he's just kind of holding it lazily. Like, <laughs> like the Terminator? The yeah, yeah, that's fucking cool. Holding it lazily like that in the back and saying, Get a move on! Is that your blaster or you're just really tall? Hey, hey, alright, yeah, okay, guys, uh, docking's in Sector 266. 
All right, this is the complete opposite side of the sh What are you doing? <laughs> I apologize, my chauffeur does not know how to act. This Cretan I found stowed away on my ship. <laughs> All right, um, so, uh, wow, okay, that's a lot. Um, dealing with, uh, social issues, I believe that you want to go to Sector 349? Again, that is on the other side of the ship. What? Uh, uh, nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> From the sniffing noises, I think they are smelling something foul and pestilent. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Oh, does it smell bad in the most rundown part of the ship? Well, gee, thanks for letting me know. You appear to be distressed. Oh, do I appear to be distressed? Do I appear to be distressed? Trust me, Have they I have this the effect system? on everyone. I can see that. Yeah. Um. Listen, guys, you're you're right. I'm having a really um bad go of it down here right now. As you guys are chatting, you see five of these little tuka cats. They're like. Think of it if they were cats mixed with chickens. There you are. I thought I told you to stay on And they're the all ship. kind of like, they're all kind of like, um, chilling around, um, did you say your name? No. I did not. <laughs> oh, good. Did you want to say it for the audience? Oh, sure. My name is Uef Yatsilo Nafni Yep. And Maybe. one more time, but like, kind of uh, slower, please. Uef, Uef Yatsilo Nafni Yafni Yafin. They start to circle around Uef Yatsilo and... One of them kind of comes to you and starts purring at your feet. Ah, guys, okay, another problem. Animals need to be uh, accounted for with the, uh... There's five. Yeah, okay, I can see that you can count. You're very smart. Thank I'm you. very proud of you. But if you need these, <laughs> if you want these on the ship, you're going to have to take them through customs. And that, again, is on the other side of the ship. Please, why are you here? What are you doing out here? You're not even supposed to be here. Do you even have credentials? Uh. Okay, I'll take that as a no then. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Gigo! Oh. Oh? There's, uh, there's not a connection. You're fucking kidding me. You're in the other side of the stage. Uh, um, of course I do. Of course I have credentials. Oh, do you? Uh, do you? Do you? What, yeah, what, what, what level access do you have then? I have, uh, alpha level access. Okay, that's the first so <laughs> I think, Ryan, you have two choices for what you want to roll for that, yeah, correct? Yeah, I think You do so, that, yeah. okay. you roll inside. Alright. Alpha level access. Oh, no, I don't want to roll that one. I want to roll this one. What'd you all roll? What'd you all roll? Well, I rolled a two. Okay. I rolled a five. You're both kind of confused, but you do believe it. Alpha level. Yes. You have alpha level access. I guess I do. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I need to escort you to the proper location. Okay. Yes, please. By all means. <sighs> okay, fine. And I want to take them. <laughs> but I would like to be the proper like, area. All right. Like come here, just... children. Come here, children. I'm going to gather them all up. We're, we're going to cut here for a second, and we're going to go into the... The, the cockpit of the shuttle as it comes out of hyperspace onto Basuris. You're still not sure if you even have full control, as sometimes it makes movements to places that you have really no... I am totally driving. Exactly. And as it's heading for a hangar bay, Caster, you're sitting there, and you, you look over, and there's like a, a drawer kind of pops down. And you see like a, like a velvet like book in it. Pay attention to driving. <laughs> it's not like there's a road. We're in space. Now look. You open oh it up, God. and the first thing you see is this picture. Oh. Well. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Damn. No. Angie was a baddie. Yes, <laughs> yeah, she was. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> and on a little... On, there's a little caption, and it says... It says, when me and you trilla went to Felucia. It's kind of a, it, you look more, and it's, it's a diary of, of Val's. I really wish we wouldn't have left her. She made her choice. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. Oh, well, yeah, I'm sorry, reading through it, you know, with the time we have left on the you, shuttle. You see in, with, in the couple of 
Actually, can you roll a D... Let's see, roll a D10. No, no, D12 for me. On the shuttle. Uh, 12. That was a thump. So you yeah, actually... It went out of the, <laughs> the tray. You actually kind of have this moment of clarity for the first time since the ride where you feel like <laughs> the sadness that was there at one point is now kind of like intrigue and you feel kind of content reading this and you, you see like notes about how Utrilla was discovered, um, how, how Utrilla was discovered by Val, um, about, uh, 20 or so, like about, I would say about, sorry, about like 30 years ago, like me. um, discovered her at a, um, at a bar on Nar Shaddaa, just working, sent something, and through like a, a matter of circumstances found out that Utrilla could use the force. And as a way seeker, Val had certain authority to just bring people into the order. Wow. And started training your mother. Very cool. That's amazing. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my mom's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> you see that like oh, wait. Val <laughs> Val kind of writes about how like Utrilla is slowly well, actually pretty quickly, like outgrowing. And she feels so impressed and feels like it happened so quickly where they were equals. And just for the record's sake, um, this was not like she found her like at a young age. This was like she was a full adult. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay, good. I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clarification. She's working important. in a bar. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I will say yeah. too, in this time, Jedi, you can tell Jedi Master and Apprentice, it's more like a companionship. Mm-hmm. It's more of like friends learning together. There's not this strict, you have to listen to me and blah, blah, blah. There is no order to things. Nice. They are just learning together and doing what they can to help people. How did I come in? What? what do you, what's that? Uh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> curious. That's oh. not suspicious at all. Well, yeah, there's a picture of my, my mom and, uh, and my aunt. Uh... <laughs> Hanging out when they were younger. Wow. Historians would say they were just friends. <laughs> yeah. Really, 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 really friend. close friends. I guess I don't know yeah. how Dathomir and DNA work, so... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you would know that that's that's you would know if you had Dathomir and DNA. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm okay. Um, but you your ship. M- Kind of, you have no control. Something happens. I am totally yeah, driving. You, and like, it lands into Hangar Bay, and you see Jim's ship, the Sea Tree. The, the the door kind of opens up, and you walk into this very tense moment. Oh my god! It's Will you real- stop saying that? You're not in charge here, I'm in charge. Uh, okay. It uh, smells stinky. What are you kids doing here? We are on an important mission. I oh. have diplomatic diplomacy. That's not. You have diplomatic diplomacy. diplomacy. Can you roll a performance diplomacy. check for me, please? I do, do, though. You do, but I just want to see how convincing you are on this. But I am a diplomat. Sure. I just used the wrong word. Let's see what the dice say. Oh, no. What, what kind of check is <laughs> performance, this? Performance, I want to see. Oh, my God. Performance. We are not rolling all that well. No, this is bad. That's this. a 10. You are not convinced at all of this. This yeah. is somebody trying to get a free a free parking sure. job. Okay, little guys. All right, come on, follow me. We're going to where we need to be. Okay. We have alpha yes. levels. Yeah, these guys have alpha. Levels. I was going to say that. Whoa, your armor looks cool. Just put yeah. my blaster on my shoulder. <laughs> come on, it's stinky over here, and also it's not fully safe all the time, kids. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, it's really poopy here. Yeah, it is really yeah. poopy here. Trust me, I don't know. Don't your parents to get back to. Wow. Really? Wow. My mother knows that I am on business. It's part of being a junior diplomat. Chico! My, my mom, uh, was Chico, there. are you there? She's gone. But, I don't know where she is. No connection. Her mother was her. That's fine. The <laughs> Jedi. How much do I know? Um, so... Should I? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. So, so, so at this time, oh, no. the Jedi are. Everybody in the galaxy is aware that Jedi are back. Mm-hmm. They are. They their light has shone across the galaxy, but their numbers are still not as large as the days of the old Republic. So you would probably it would 
I'll say you probably have never met one, but you sure. know that they exist. She sure. and my auntie were wasteers. Yeah, and I made it an eight on my lore check. <laughs> Sorry so. about that. I probably should have had you. No, no, it's it. okay. I just I wanted to. I was just curious. Yeah. Um, but that pretty much I think fits with what you said. Yeah. Um, your mother was a Jedi. Yeah, my dad. My dad's actually an Emperor right now. And somehow and he that's returned. That's quite <laughs> What are you doing here? He's my not. best. You're a janitor. Yes, I know what I am. I'm supposed to deliver a, a package. Do you have any idea where I would do that? I can take it off your hands. No. I don't think we, so. Can you, you will remember that there, in your briefing, there was a meeting. I'm oh, sorry. In your Great. briefing, there was a meeting. In your, in your briefing, uh-huh. there was a name. Great. Um, do I know? Margot. Margot. Margot I'm, Robbie. I'm, <laughs> Margot. I'm looking for a, a Margot. Why are you looking for Margot? And the Elden Ring. Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to find her? Ugh. I mean... I mean... Yeah, so I know I know Margot. Sorry. It's we, been a long day. We yes. also need to go to Basaris. We're on Basaris. We're on Basaris right now. Oh, I thought oh, this was that's a space station. Gone. Somebody roll a history check for me. Not me. <laughs> Uh, that's a fifteen. Okay, what you roll? Uh, that's a nine. Well, you you already know. I mean, this I already know it anyway. You uh, knowing like in your briefing and you knowing just from living there know that Basiris also just refers to the station because mm-hmm. nobody can live on the surface. Yeah. Oh, you need to talk to Margaret. Yes. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, come on. We'll get we'll, we'll get you kids checked in. We'll get you guys all sorted out with your alpha level access. We're not yes. children. Yeah, I'm 19. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You hear you hear uh, Nasa go. Bum, 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 bum. What's wrong with being 19? There's nothing wrong with it. Just follow me. I'll get you guys all signed in, and I'll get you where you need to be, and I'll make sure that somebody parks your ships not in the middle of the least sanitary area on the ship. It really okay? is terrible over here. Yeah, they forget about these areas. <laughs> Is that my backpack? Uh, well, uh, one moment. Your, uh, your bags. The thing's beeping. Making noise. Is that a bomb? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's You're not, not supposed to bring contraband not, like that on the not, ship, you know. No, no, it's just it's, uh, my, it's my alarm. Let me turn it off. It's a big alarm. Making bar. um. Yeah. I'm trying to think. What kind of handling chick? What still chick is this? Um. Technology. Technology, do that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, 17. And you see the blue turquoise's color start to turn orange and red. It's gonna blow up. What? Do What's I, gonna blow do up? I know what, do I know what this does? Do you kids actually have a bomb on the ship right now? I don't know. Are you one of those, are you one of those, uh... <laughs> you... What are you what, doing? Hey, Could I, um, lift it up and no, move that's... it away? No, no. That's mine. <laughs> uh, do you grab it? Can you make like contested strength checks? Actually, um, that's what I, I, like I want to do. I, I like want to do that. I want to do that. It's a twelve. It's a seventeen. Yeah, you actually you try to go to grab it, and it's out of your hands already, and it's in the air as it's raising, as it's raising, and it stops. What I you... fixed it. Wait. But you see ah. it. You. I'm you hear it. And like you see a door kind of slide open on it. It's an egg. What, what are you doing? God. Uh, oh, 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 hey. oh, Let's put the guns down, guys. Oh god. Uh, Nozzle, give me the blaster. No. Oh my god. What? What are you doing? Put it back. Holding. What? Do we know what force? I know what force is. You're, you're oh. probably a little spooked by it, but yeah. you, you are aware of what it is. You're you one of those uh, <laughs> ghost levitator people. Do they know your mother? You can force people to do things. I don't know. Are you a child? I didn't know my mother. Oh, a cat. What is that? It's coming. You look up, it's coming from the crate. Um. Uh, I didn't know it was alive. It was an egg. C- can you put it can down, Can you lower please? it, maybe? What did you think it was? Yeah, we were just given this thing by uh, this lady in this uh, starfighter. No, I... I was there first. <laughs> well, she said to deliver a package. So. <laughs> As this, it? did you say you lowered it? Hmm? Uh, it? Yeah, gently to the As ground. Gently to the ground, you see. Oh, oh the hell is sleeping. sleeping? Is that Benjamin Button? <laughs> <laughs> Ew. 
can I? What is this? It looks up and it goes. What the? F- I'm gonna poke it. Oh my god! It totally Don't poke is. it. Can't, yeah. Can you make a charisma check for me? Charisma check. Ooh. It is, that is a seventeen. You for a second, time freezes again. Oh, and no. you are suddenly flashed with these images of a desert world, of war, of explosions. You see men in white armor oh my God. firing blasters oh with my blue God. lights. You wow. see robots, wow. droids, wow. shooting wow. like shooting red bolts. You see all sorts of battles happening. Then you see some large circular object in the sky. With a green glow at the center of it, shooting down. And finally, stillness, blackness. And then looking up at you, awake, is this little baby. That's what we're gonna end tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Well, hey, all right. That's sick. sick. All right, everybody. Well, um. (laughs) Benjamin, what happened? Thank you all for tuning in. We we got a we got a baby to take care of in this oh, next yeah, episode. We do. All right. Well, <laughs> take care of it. <laughs> As always, don't forget to say yes, yes, yay! And may the force be with you. <laughs> God damn, our group is gonna not do well helping the galaxy.